Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see the best practices to pass data from one activity to another activity. So as you know, if we are working on a big application, then this is the one of the most important thing because we have to pass data every time from one activity to another to use that data on a new activity or in another activity. But it is not also compulsory that we are passing data every time. So how to prevent our application on that time from crashing because sometimes we will not going to pass data sometimes we will going to pass data so how to handle all those cases so that thing is known as best practices to avoid any kind of exception in your application so in this video i am going to tell you how to pass data and how to open activity without passing the data so we will going to cover almost everything of passing data from one activity to another in this video so before starting this video let's see a demo so you can see I open my application, it contained two edit text, one button and one a button send without no data. So first of all, I am filling something here. So I fill my name and I simply fill any number. Then I click on send data button. So if I click on send data, it opens a new activity and you can see the data display here. It means I pass the data successfully. Now let's go back and now let's open this activity again. But this time I am not going to pass any data. So this below button send no data button will open the activity without passing any data. So I click on this. So you can see up your application is working fine and it is showing empty because I didn't pass any data here, but still it is working. So I handle those exceptions. So in this video, I am going to tell you how you can handle this and beginner face lots of problems. So watch this video till end. After watching this video, you will never going to face any difficulty while passing data from one activity to another. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video. So open your Android Studio and here you can see I make a inside activity main access file. I take a linear layout here with orientation vertical and inside this I take a edit text to edit text and set the hint enter your name enter any number send data and send no data. These are two buttons. So I just create this layout to save your time and as well as my time. So now I give the ID names here, BT send no data and BT send data, ET get number, ET get name. So this is just a basic things. Now on our activity new, the activity which we are going to open when we click on button. So if I open this activity, you can see it contain two edit text, TV name, TV number. So if I get the name and number from previous activity, I'm going to show here. Otherwise I will go to show here empty. So let's see how this thing is going to work inside Android. So first of all, open your main activity.java. So let's declare some variable for typecasting them for assigning the XML ID to Java ID. So I simply type here button and then I give the ID name here BT send data. This is first button and second button is BT send no data. We also have a edit text, edit text and then ET get name. And the second thing is et get number. Let's quickly assign the XML ID into Java ID. So et get name equal find view ID r dot id dot et get name. Control D, Control D to copy the same line. Then et get number. So et get number. Then we have a bt send data and type here bt send data then here we have to type here bt send no data and bt send no data this is done now let's assign the on click listener so if someone click on bt send data button then i have to open the new activity set on click listener new then capital o and press enter so i have to use their intent 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 equal new intent and from main activity dot this to our new activity dot class you can give any activity name it is your choice then we have to start activity and pass the intent here then copy this code again control c copy and paste the code again bt send no data so i have to perform the same work but if someone click on bt send data then i have to send the data and if some, someone click on bt send no data button then i have to i don't need to send anything so now let's see first of all how to pass data from one activity to another. So for this you can see I have a name and a number. So 
if we are trying to get the something from our ready text then it will automatically going to convert that thing into a string so let's declare two strings here string name and number then inside name i will check et get name dot get text to string and inside number i will store the number which is entered by the user et get number dot get text to string now i have to pass the data from activity so i have to type here first intent dot put extra now inside this you have to give any name which you are going to use in new activity to receive that data so i am passing name here so i in capital so first of all this is the best practice give the name in capitals name and uh, i want to pass my name here then the second thing i want to pass number so intent dot put extra so it doesn't matter whether it is a int it doesn't matter whether it is a string you have to type always here put extra then i type here num and i am passing here number variable so you can see now the data passed from here this activity successful now let's see how we we will going to receive the data on our new activity so i open this activity first of all you can see it contain a two array text tv name and tv number so let's type cast xml id into our id so text you tv name tv number so tv name equal find your id r dot id dot tv name and tv number equal find your id r dot id dot tv number so first of all this is the important thing i done the xml id into java id now if we are receiving the data from an intent it is always better to create a function without receiving the data directly here so how we will going to create a function here so for this you just have to type here first of all read intent function this is the best practice to give this function name as a read intent so it will read the intent whether intent contains something or not now create this function now as we know we are going to receive two data one is our name and one is the one number so let's declare two variables first here so string name and by default i store inside this empty and then string number equal empty so this is the first thing done now after this let's read our data which you are going to do so first of all we will check whether we are receiving data or not it will prevent our application from crashing so we will check whether the we are receiving data from previous activity or not so first of all declare an variable intent type intent intent equal get intent you have to type this then after this you have to check here inside app if intent dot guest extra get extras not equal to null if it is not equal to null then it means we are receiving the data and if we otherwise what we have to do we have to set the tv name dots tv number dot set text we will show empty on my text you set text empty and for as well name tv name and if i receive data then i i will store that data inside my name and number variable so name intent dot get string extra we have to use this get string extra and inside this we have to pass the key name so this is the key name which i use here name same as it is then control the again and inside number variable i will store the number and if you are passing intent int then you have to type here get int extra it is your choice whatever you want to do then after this if we want to set the data then after this we will call the function set data function here to show data on our text views so it is the best practice also to make your function or code separately completely separate so i create this function set data then inside this what i have to do i have to set the data so tv name dot set text and i have to set the name and after this tv number dot set text and inside this i have to pass a number so our application is ready guys now you can see this is very clean code and it is the best practice to write any code now before checking the application one mistake i done inside this so first of all i have to call these two lines inside the button on click of button so if someone clicking on button then i have to get the text from first so instead of this we can declare this here because the code is going to work in flow so it will automatically read this and then if i click on button then it will not going to fetch any values from our ready text so for this if we want to fetch values from ready text then we have to pass these things here so now it is completely fine so now let's run, run our application and check whether it is working or not so i press on run and it will start building read will successful 
So first of all, let's click on the send no data button. So if I click on send no data, you can see I am receiving setting here empty empty. It means I don't pass any data. Now let's enter my name. So Vijesh and enter a number I am 33. Then I click on send data. So if I enter send data, you can see I get the all data here inside our new activity. So I hope guys you like this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. I will try to give the answer of every comment. Please like the video. Please subscribe the channel. If you have any question, just comment down below. Thank you. See you soon in next amazing video.